right everyone here we are with ticker symbol wkhs workhorse group inc and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors welcome to my channel invest for tomorrow to all my subscribers welcome back and let's jump into this chart so workhorse group inc has actually had some bullish run when you look at it it's actually formed itself an upward trend but in between it there's been a lot of volatility jumping up and down so what we're seeing here is that the bulls are trying their best to keep this up but the bears are trying to continue their best to get closer to the 50-day moving average and get below it they've only been able to do it significantly in the last couple of days which is yesterday and today for only about a total amount of two hours yesterday and today for only 30 minutes but the bulls keep on coming hefty and strong so the question is could the bulls keep themselves up i'm sure they can but they need to break through these resistance levels that we're about to talk about i also want to say thank you to all the first time viewers or even investors or subscribers um, that took the time to go ahead and comment down below yesterday on the trivia questions i really appreciate that those are really important cues for everyone to know and memorize that's the whole point of it and if anybody overlooked it they can just quickly go back look at the comments and see it down below so thank you guys for taking the time to do that and stay tuned because there's going to be a trivia question again today so i look forward to seeing your guys's comments and answers down below so we're currently at 1899 this resistance level from yesterday to today is still significant because it was not able to be broken through significantly today it was only broken through slightly by a couple of cents 1929 and it started to fall from there so 1927 is an important point as this starts to work its way up and if this momentum continues super important number to keep in mind but we're going to look at our new resistance based off of the charts today and support was significantly broken through and it actually started to fall all the way down here to 1765 it was significantly broken through and it reached those lows now let's look at our new support based off of the chart which is the lowest point before this momentum and recovery from the bulls now the 50-day moving average is within this area which usually means that the bears have a chance to make more leverage off of what the charts are showing so they can't do this if the bulls continue to break through resistance levels but if the bulls don't accomplish that and they keep getting rejected or don't even reach it and they continue sideways this is going to give leverage to the bears to start to gain control and we can see that clearly here and i'm going to show it and demonstrate it you'll see that it'll catch up to the price and if the bulls are just kind of hanging out sideways and kind of hanging out in that direction and they don't go above the resistance and they're not even getting closer to the support this 50-day moving average at one point will go ahead and break through the price leading it to be above the stock price meaning that we're now in bearish territory and the bears can use that as leverage to start to bring this one down and the 50-day moving average will be above the price so it's super important to keep that in mind pay close attention to it how it's reacting and what is going on so we're going to go ahead and talk about what is important for tomorrow now on the long-term basis of things the bulls want to break through the highest point here which is 2007 i'd keep that in mind for the next coming days and weeks and the bears are going to try to break through the lowest point reached today which was 1764 and that's important for them in the next coming days and weeks as well according to the volatility of this stock those are the two most important points 1764 and up here at 2007 and 1764 to keep in mind as this plays out accordingly to which direction it's going but before getting to any of those numbers the first thing for the bulls to maintain momentum and continue this run and stay above the 50-day moving average which is 1811 as long as we're above it we're in bullish territory the moment we're below it 
were in bearish territory, the Bulls need a breakthrough 1921. They need to turn that into a support, break away from it, reach newer highs, and start to pull away from the 50-day moving average significantly by turning 1921 into a support to reach those newer highs and reach new resistance levels and break further into bullish territory. So I want to emphasize for the bulls to maintain this momentum and not have the 50-day moving average catch up to it and gaining more leverage for the bears, they need to break through 1921, turn that into a support and start to reach newer highs and newer resistance levels. That's my emphasis there on this resistance level and for the bulls. The bulls need to continue the momentum by breaking through 1921. Now, on the other hand, we have what the Bears want. If the Bears accomplish this, they accomplish two things. They broke through the 50-day moving average of 1811, right? And they broke through the first support level in bearish territory, which then means we're now getting deeper into bearish territory, which can lead to newer lows and newer support levels. If the Bears accomplish that, they accomplish those two things. Now, 1805, I want to emphasize, if it gets broken through, the Bulls have a chance to come back. And that's where that tug of war will start, which the tug of war is going on. We're seeing it with the volatility up and down. But if it gets broken through, the Bulls can try to reappear. So look out for that if that does happen. But you also want to pay close attention to how quickly is it pulling away from the 50-day moving average after breaking through 1805? Is it hitting newer lows fairly quickly? Is it getting closer to that 1764 mark down here fairly quickly? Or how is it reacting between 1764 and 1805? And are the bulls trying to reappear to bring this back into bullish territory? Those are the most important cues to look for and pay close attention to if it breaks through support. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. So, trivia question. What is the most important point for the bulls to reach newer highs and newer levels of resistance within the next week and coming days? And what is the most important point to pay close attention to if this is on its way down for the next coming weeks and days? I stated it earlier in the video. It's the highest and lowest points that we've seen between yesterday and today. And why are they important? I look forward to seeing your guys' comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.